Today we're going to talk about dreaming big dreams. And also this week for the initial broadcast, our prayer will be on this also on Prayer America. St. Teresa said this, You pay God a compliment by asking great things of God. Most people don't ask God for great things. They ask for little, trivial things, small daily problems. A lot of people don't have big dreams. Perhaps they're afraid to dream big dreams. Maybe they don't believe in themselves enough. Maybe they don't believe in God enough. In Ephesians 3, 19 and 20, it says, Live full lives, full, in the fullness of God. God can do anything. You know far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. God does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. God's spirit deeply and gently within us. So, my friend, I ask you the question, how big are you willing to dream? Unless you're willing to dream big, it can't happen because God does not push something on you. You have free will and decide in your free will to dream big. Are you willing to entertain the possibility that God has big plans for you, big things in store for you, or are you convinced that your future is too dim, that you'd better wear night goggles to see it. <laughs> it's so dim. If you trust God's promises, then you'll have faith that your future is intensely and eternally bright. It takes courage to dream big, to have big dreams. And you'll discover that courage when you do three things. Number one, accept your past. It is now past, so that's, if it was bad, that's a good thing. Number two, trust God to handle the future. And number three, make the most of the time that God has given you right now, today. Nothing, my friend, is too difficult for God. And no dreams are too big for God. So start living and dreaming accordingly.